Guitars have been a prominent instrument in the music industry for its ability to be flexible when it comes to producing different sounds. The simple logic that we understand about guitars is that in order to create music, the only things that are required are correct finger placement across the neck and hitting a couple of strings. Rarely do we take the initiative to ask ourselves how these distinct sounds are created and what the physics behind every strum is. Soon enough, you'll learn how guitars make sounds while taking into account the physics that is happening. When it comes to acoustic guitars, sounds are generally produced whenever the guitar strings vibrate. This vibration occurs by picking the string and it travels through the saddle that it rests on, then to the bridge which rocks back and forth on its axis, to the soundboard, and then finally to the sound hole, which amplifies the vibrations into noise that we can hear. At any point in the air near the source of sound, the molecules are moving backwards and forwards and the air pressure varies up and down by very small amounts. The number of vibrations per second is called the frequency, which is measured in cycles per second, or hertz. The pitch of a note is almost entirely determined by the frequency. High frequency for high pitch, and lower frequency for lower pitch. The strings on a guitar are ordered from thinnest to thickest strings in the sequence of E, B, G, D, A, and E. In essence, the thinner the string is, the higher the frequency and pitches, and vice versa.